TJ. Holmes talks about his dry January and shares his nickname with Amy Robach. Amy Robach, TJ. Holmes' girlfriend has been motivated to set a new fitness goal for January by him. Along with training and running marathons together, the couple and their former co-workers have long been supportive of one another. This January, they are participating in Dry January, a campaign that involves giving up alcohol for the whole month. Amy Robach said on Thursday's iHeartRadio podcast episode of Amy and TJ that she is doing the well-liked January Dry January for the first time. Robes, as his girlfriend is called, is doing this for the first time ever in the new year, added Holmes. A lot of people do Dry January, you're doing it for the first time. Having never participated in Dry January previously, Robach acknowledged that it would be a challenge for her. Indeed, we're now in this together. I haven't done it before, said Robach. I've always observed what I refer to as damp January. I cut back on my drinking, but I wasn't ready to give it up entirely. However, I have accepted this year and this month, and I'm really looking forward to it. It will definitely be a challenge for me because I enjoy challenges. And why road runners brand better through Getty Images. Robach said that Holmes served as her motivation for accepting the assignment. You've inspired me, Robach informed Holmes. You've done it every year for the past 10 years, except last year, which is understandable. The couple's affair was thrust into the spotlight last January when information about Robach and Holmes' personal relationship was released. As each TV star was divorcing their respective husbands, rumors of an affair began to surface. They have insisted that when they got together, they weren't with their prior relationships. Why? Holmes teasingly said, what was different about last January? According to Robach, January was difficult. When word of Holmes and Robach's connection leaked out in January, ABC formally fired them. Two months later, Robach and Andrew Shue officially divorced, and in October, Holmes and Marilee Feebig called it quits. Since then, rumors have surfaced suggesting that Shue and Feebig have been dating. Robach and Holmes have spoken candidly about their trying experience from January of last year. In their inaugural podcast episode, Robach talked about the terrifying encounter she had while checking on Holmes' welfare. According to Holmes, he started pounding vodka immediately after leaving work, which is when the incident happened. I worked nonstop for a few hours. I ended up in the situation I was in because I consumed who knows how many edible cannabis products, Holmes said. That was a scary combo. I'll never forget that night and you weren't moving, Robach remarked. The two are currently enjoying a serious romance that is going strong.